just like governments sometimes have a need for secrecy, you know, companies sometimes have a need to protect trade secrets and proprietary information. I'm not saying that there aren't circumstances where companies um, should have some privacy. Well, I'm trying not to use that word. But uh, um, I do think privacy for individuals is basically a fundamental right. You know, it's like freedom of speech, uh, for example. Um, and I think we really need to treat it, treat it differently. Um, companies, when they go online, uh, you know, are offering products and services to consumers or providing information. I think that's uh, obviously a good thing, um, you know, something that the Internet has made possible for a lot more people than in the past. Um, but I think it's also important to know, particularly with respect to their data collection practices, how do they use the information that they collect about people? I mean, this is, you know, part of our objection with Facebook is that it's actually very hard for users to control um, the way Facebook transfers their data to their business partners. Um, I'm not saying that they shouldn't or that they couldn't, but I am saying that users should have more information about how that happens. Um, and so that would be less secretive, I think, or could be less secretive. 